It's your boy Breezy here covering Madden NFL 21. We're going to be running through defensive schemes, the X's and O's, all right? Now, we all know that in online Madden, there are certain defensive schemes that are overrun, overused, and abused. I'm here to go through every last one of them and show you how to utterly destroy them. Now, I know this video is titled Madden 21, but this next tutorial, what I'm going to show you will hold true for 19 20, 21, and very likely Madden 22. So this is a one-stop shop for you to pick apart anyone who stays at home in this defense all game long. And I will also follow with tutorials covering cover three, cover four, quarters, and cover one-man coverage. All right? So without further ado, let's get to it. First things first, in Madden, every defensive scheme has a tell. So it does not matter which um, formation that a team will come out in cover two with. All right, so let's just say they use cover two sync. Right. Now, when you come to the line, every, every person who's been playing this game knows the easiest way to identify a defensive coverage Wait. is motion. Once you motion, if anyone except that corner goes with that uh, offensive player into the slot, it is very likely zone coverage. As you can see, the safeties did not move. But let's just say they've been running this all game, and we'll just take for granted that we know it's cover two. All right, let's look. Just look at this scheme right here. Now, we have flat, uh, flat um, flare out. We have the fullback hitting the flat on the right side, and two comebacks along with the intermediate by Mark Andrews being run. Let's hike the ball and see how it, how this breaks down. <laughs> Easy. Right there. Simple as that. Now, a common mistake made by a lot of people is they go to whatever receiver is closest to them. In this case, it's Mark Andrews. Now, against cover two, that's still not bad because in a cover two scheme, not only are the safeties responsible for the deep quarters of the field or the deep uh, outside the hash marks portion of the field, but that middle linebacker has to stay as deep as the deepest seam route receiver. So if there's an in breaking route in the middle of the field, that tight end, if he has any sort of catch ability whatsoever or any sort of uh, medium intermediate route running ability, short to intermediate, he's going to make a nice sharp cut and catch the ball every time especially if you lead him within. So you push that analog stick left, hold X, it is going to be a catch nine out of 10 times, 10 out of 10 if you're dealing with a receiver that can actually catch it and you don't, you know, mindlessly throw it late. Throw it right there on the cut. Good hands, he's gonna catch it every time. You can throw it before the cut, you can throw it after the cut, it won't matter. Once that, right there, see, that is easy. That is easy. See, the quarter's defender is going to drop out and honor the flare route that you should never audible out of when you run this play. A lot of people like to run max protect. That is not going to work. So you have two options here. You have the flare, or you have the flat route run by J.K. Dobbins or whoever you got back there, and you have the over route run by Mark Andrews. All right? Now... Do not try to throw the comeback route just because you have a comeback route to throw. Yes, I completed it right there, but you are asking for trouble if you are playing against a defense that has playmakers. This is not a high percentage throw. I promise you it is not. Unless they are playing cover too hard flat, which you will know, um, that is, the comeback route is not the best option. Just hit the flat. There's nothing wrong with playing football and getting that seven to eight yards, man. Play smart. Now, the easiest way to abuse a cover two defense is to what I call flood the zone. All right. Now, look at this. I have a deep, uh, intermediate dig coming um, right over top of a Mark Andrews drag route. All right. Now, this time I'm going to keep my running back in because, you know, JJ or TJ Watt and them boys coming. All right. Now, let's see how this goes. Now, let's run that same play again. I'm not going to say anything because I want you all to understand exactly what's happening here. Now, 
Now, here's how that broke down. Now, when you run a route combination into a zone that there that has to be vacated, watch this. As I told you, the middle linebacker is deeper or is responsible for the deepest intermediate or between the hash marks route. That would be Nick Boyle. So even though he doesn't know that Nick Boyle is going to be the one, Madden always knows. So he's going to get to that spot. Therefore, this drag route is wide open. It's all about combination routes and flooding the zone. Now, this quarter, this uh, quarter defender on the opposite side of the play is going to come here and be responsible for this route. So therefore, since the middle linebacker has gone way deep for his responsibility in the cover two, even though this cornerback is psychic and happened to jump the route on this particular play, the play still works because that's the way it's supposed to. All right. As a matter of fact, let's come out and run it. One more. Now, as you can see, there was a bunch of traffic on that one. So we're going to run it again. Right. Yeah, so yeah. make sure you have Mark Andrews coming on the drag. It is called high lows. Do not run any other route or else Marquise Brown is going to be left with his ass in the wind. Shut now, up. drag route, high low, wait for the cut, throw it in. It is going to be a completion every time. And not only is that a completion, but that is a healthy 10 to 15 yard completion every time. Now. You can run that exact same scheme out of a bunch formation. Let's take flanker drive, for example, out of gun bunch. Everybody has that in their playbook. All right, cover two. Now look, we've got um, Des Bryant, no longer on the team anymore, and uh, Willie Sneed. They're gonna go high low. Even though they're both coming from the same side, the principle remains the same, all right? Now, we're gonna keep J.K. Dobbins in and see what happens. Wide open in the middle of the field. High low. It never Shut fails. High low the defender in the Where's cover two. Abuse the middle of the field. Linebackers are very vulnerable in zone coverage. All right. If the if you don't have to throw it somewhere for defensive backs to be a part of the play, don't. Abuse the mismatches. They are easy to abuse in Madden NFL 21, especially when you're talking next year. But as I said, this holds true for 19, 20, and 21, so take advantage of it. Now, the easiest way, absolute easiest way to defeat cover two, and I'll show you in the next video for cover three, is, again, what did I mention before? Flood the zone. And luckily for Madden, they have plays that do exactly that. It's called flood. So, what you do? Let's pick flood. Cover two. Let's see. Now, just in case they're playing hard flat, we have Mark Andrews here to uh, to um, account for that defender. We have Willie Sneed running a very deep out, and we have Des Bryant taking care of the quarters defender on the outside, just in case it's not actually cover three. So let's see what happens. Now, mind you, like I said, every defense has a tell, so we know it's zone coverage. Look at the linebacker stacked. If it was man coverage, that that minute 55 would be out there on Mike Andrews, but he's not, you know? So let's see how this plays out. Easy, easy. How you wanna go through your progressions. The first thing you look at when you snap a ball on offense, watch what the safeties do. The safeties will tell you every single time what the coverage is, all right? Don't look at the rush, because the rush will fool you. The linebackers will fool you, but the safeties never lie. Watch the safeties, they both drop out. All right, let's watch the quarters defender on that side. Okay, the cornerback on the outside this time decided not to honor the deep route because he knew he had safety help over top. But even still, because it's cover two and it's not hard flat, he still honored the deep route for at least 10 yards before coming back to the flat route receiver. And the quarters defender over here ended up getting caught up with um, Willie Sneed before he ran his deep intermediate right there with the press. Now, that was a bad decision, but I wanted to see if you could still fit it in Willie Sneed. No, primary looks on this flood, 
the what? flat route by whoever your slot receiver is and the intermediate out route because here's what it's going to look like if they're playing hard flat let's pick flood Every defense has cover two hard flat in it somewhere. Except Pittsburgh, of course. Okay, we'll find it. Nope. There we go. Cover two hard flat. Orn. Out of the three, out of this uh, quarter defense formation. All right, nice. So now we really don't know what kind of defense it is, right? Because everyone's aligned over a man. Wrong. Watch the safeties. We'll drop back. And this time, oh, Lamar Jackson, his accuracy is off. But this time, you watch the outside corner. He drops on that flat route run by Mark Andrews. And every time you see that, you know obviously that Willie Sneed is going to be open because the safety has to honor Des Bryant running down the field, even though Des Bryant is going to take an hour and a half to get there. Drop that. Watch. Be patient. They're only rushing three. Boom. That's it. Easy work. Same play every time. Same result. Nothing changes. Dra drag route, deep in. All right? Flat routes, strong flood. Do not forget it. And we will be back covering cover three and cover four quarters and everything else you need to know to become an offensive genius. Right.